Good morning everyone. Uh, Captain Gary Porter here. I'm going to describe my Don Smith research. And it's, I'm at the beginning of it, but I've got one whole section done. And I'm just going to go through the system that I've got so far. And uh, I'll start off with this first page of the schematic. Is I got a 12 volt battery here, an inverter. This is a Harbor Freight 750 watt inverter. Uh, C4 is a tuning capacitor to call it, to give me resonance in this area, so the drop in the battery is less. I have an AC to DC high voltage transformer primary driver right here. And the second schematic will uh, show you this in detail. High voltage transformer is a dual coil secondary uh, 2000 turns, primary 6543 turn, whatever turns you need to get whatever you want for voltage on the output. Uh, D1 and D2 are uh, composite diodes, group of diodes that gives you three. Uh, 6 amps at 5,000, 6,000 volts. Uh, Z1 is not used at this time. D6 is not used. Uh, SG1 is a spark gap. Uh, C1 is 27 nanofarads. And this is uh, my L1 coil, Don Smith L1 coil. This is the Barker Williamson coil here. And then up here, uh, this energy from this follows up into this part of the circuit. I've got uh, a D3 and D4 and then a C2 is to tune the coil. Uh, these are on the device but I haven't even looked at the energy yet. L3 is a choke, uh, C3 is a storage capacitor, and SG2 is another spark gap. Uh, this is a Russian style output transformer. Uh, this transformer is a bifiler primary, according to the Russians. I haven't built this yet, but I'm in the process. This is their uh, three bridges in series, giving you uh, 6,000 volts, 50 amps. Uh, this line in the center here is a shield. That's an aluminum foil shield and insulation wrapped around the primary, I believe. And that is going to ground. Um, this and this shield is not a complete circle around the, the primary. It is. It's that way you don't have a, a, a one turn event. Uh, the output secondary produces electron output and that can be anything you want for a secondary. Pipe, metal bar, whatever you want bent around the, the uh, transformer. Alright, let me go on into the second page of the schematic here. This is the AC to DC converter. I got the Variac input here, switch. Uh, this is a Radio Shack transformer. Uh, the two, uh, the center taps not used. This two secondary outputs are giving me 24 volts max. Bridge rectifier, one milli Henry choke, simple coil of wire. A uh, couple of caps, 4700 microfarad, 35 volt. Uh, DC output uh, varies from 0 to 20 volts. That drives this uh, Denny 556 timer. And you can use any kind of timer you want to give you a square wave out. I got 100K, 10K. This 100K makes this pretty touchy when you're doing the, uh, the high voltage transformer resonant tuning. And uh, but you can get it, and this will allow you to vary from 700 hertz here to 340 kilohertz. So it gives you a good variety of of pulses. Uh, 222 transistor, 100 ohm resistor. Uh, I'm using right now a single 2N3055 to drive the six-turn primary on the high voltage transformer. And that's it for that particular device. That's the end of the schematic. Now the I don't 
I'm going to shift this around a little bit here. Okay, right, right here is the 12 volt battery. Over here is the inverter, and you can see I've got some white tape on here for my DC output of the power supply. So I go from battery, inverter, variac. Uh, this is a PC board that has the power supply, the timer, transistor to drive the, the high voltage transformer. The high voltage transformer is uh, Ferrite core, and um, if you email me, I can send you one of these. I got a bunch of them, and th at this point, I'm at this output. This is not connected yet. I have had this thing over here running with other transformers, but this transformer hasn't driven this spark gap and caps yet. And uh, so I've got uh, about 4,000 volts sitting out here. That's variable down to whatever you need. Uh, these are the two diodes right here, the six, uh, 5 kV, 6 amp. Going into my first ground, underneath the board here, there's a copper screen. That's, like my, that's my first attempt at some kind of a grounding plane. Uh, there's two of these actually, one's for ground one in the, this area of the design, and then ground two is in this, uh, on the other side of the board. This is the L1 coil right here, and uh, then I've got a cap going across. That's the choke. Uh, over in the back, there's the caps. There's some diodes in there. So I'll do this again, and uh, once I get to the next section, I'll show you some some signals on the oscilloscope and take you through, and maybe we can get a motor running. Have a nice day.